The following question is one of the most common organic chemistry questions. And the task is to rank the following molecules based on their acidity. So if we're going to do this, first we're going to have to look at the functional groups that we're given. So over here, let's draw this out. We have a sulfur, and it's connected to three oxygens. And it looks something like this. And you have your lone pairs over here, and two lone pairs over there. And then you have this OH group. And this looks something similar to this. So this is pretty basic. This is your carboxyl group and looks something like this where you have a carbon, double bond to an oxygen, and then a hydroxyl group right there. And then lone pairs look something like this. And these are all the same, except that you have chlorines here. Now, the first thing we're going to consider is the existence of any resonance structures. So if we're going to do this, let's take off the hydrogen. If we're going to take off the hydrogen, we're going to get something that looks similar to this. We're going to have a double bond with two lone pairs there, double bond, two lone pairs there. Then we're going to have an oxygen with three lone pairs. So that gives it a negative charge. And then this hydroxyl will just look like this, or just an oxygen with three lone pairs. That's also a negative charge. Then you have this carboxyl group. Now you get this carbon double bond to an oxygen with two lone pairs there, and an oxygen with three lone pairs. So that's also a negative charge. And these are the same as this group. Now, if we want to consider how many resonance forms are in each, let's take a test. Let's move this lone pair here and the sulfur group down here, then we're going to have to use this double bond and put it back up here. So that's one resonance form. Another resonance form is if we move the lone pair over here to make a double bond and this double bond breaks and we get the lone pair back up on this one. That's a second resonance form. So this sulfur group has three major resonance forms, a negative charge over here, a negative charge over here, and a negative charge over here. So we're going to have to mention that this has three resonance forms and they're major as well. Now with this oxygen group, oxygen group, there's zero resonance forms. And in this carboxyl, well, we can move this lone pair over here and this double bond will have to break and it'll get the negative charge to go over here. So there's only a negative charge over here or a negative charge over here. So there's two resonance forms. And the same goes for these two molecules. Now, if we're gonna rank anything, we're gonna say, well, this sulfur group has the most resonance forms and compared to everything else, we're just going to have to say this is rank number one based on acidity. This has zero resonance forms, so it's not that acidic at all. So we're going to put it at the final rank, which is rank five, the least acidic. Now, these three groups are very similar to one another. They all have carboxyl groups. Now, what makes the difference? Well, the difference is that in this one, we have a chlorine, and this one, we also have a chlorine. Now, what's the difference between these three? Well, this one has no chlorine. This one has a chlorine right next to the carboxyl group, and this one has it a little bit farther. Now, if this is farther from the carboxyl group, that means the inductive effect that this chlorine does is weaker. So this has the, uh, the least effect among these two groups. So if we're going to rank these among each other, we're gonna have this as the most inductive effect, the second most, and then the least inductive effect. So if we're gonna rank this, that would be, that, this would come in rank number two, so this is the carboxyl group, two resonance forms, and an inductive effect. Rank number three, two resonance forms, the inductive effect, but a little bit weaker. And then rank number four, two resonance forms, and no inductive effect whatsoever. And so this is how you can rank falling molecules by acidity. And one final note, just so you remember, the way we were determining all this was by the stability of the conjugate. So this is what they call the conjugate. And the more stable it is, the more acidic the molecule is. And one of the effects that make it stable are resonance or no charge at all or inductive effects. So these are the things that we were paying attention to today.